The Hauraki Big Show with Jace, Mike and Keezy. Tune in weekdays at four on Radio Hauraki. Arctic Monkeys there on the Radio Hauraki Big Show this Monday evening. But right now it's time for... Oh, yeah. Hey guys, text here from Steve. <laughs> What's for Team, team New, New Zealand? Zealand? With me. Okay. Yellowese. Fat cross. Uh, so this is the segment where you text in on 3483 with what you're having for dinner. And then I read a few of them out. You guys sort of comment on it. And then people can win $50 night and day yeah. vouchers. So one of our most popular um, segments. It, it is totally is. Yeah. I've already said what I'm having for tea, pumpkin and halloumi salad. Uh, I'm having and, and I'm very grateful for having food on my plate. My, my might I just add? Yes. Yeah. But yeah, I don't want that call. food on my plate. Uh, g'day, Flowers. Jimmy here. Jimmy Hendrix. What? Jimmy Nation. Jimmy Eat World. Nah. Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Savile. Ooh. Nah, it is Jimmy Hendrix. Ah. Uh, tonight he's having kung pao chicken. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I didn't think he'd be into kung pao chicken. Well, it says here it's his first time. Oh, right. And I don't think I, I didn't think I was going to be into it, but I'll see how I go. Cheers, Jimi Hendrix. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. Good on him. Oh, it's young, man. It's good. Uh, someone here is going to. Uh, no, sorry. G'day, Flowers. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Georgia here. Oh, my God. Georgia Porgia. <laughs> yeah, Georgia Porgia. Georgia Lines. No, no, Georgia Porgia. Oh. G'day, Flowers. Georgia Porgia here. Tonight I'll be having a Spanish omelette. XX. That's racist. So that's a shame. But what, what makes up what, what constitutes a Spanish omelette? You put on like a matador outfit, and you go see, si, and you eggs. stand in front of the oven, and you wave a little red sort of rag around, and then when you put it on the table, you say riba riba. Nah, see, see now that's too far. It's racist. See, Is it? so that's racist. See now that's that's racist. Sorry, fellas. <laughs> see that like that's yeah yeah. Uh, Should I? No, 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 it's no, no, it's fine. no, I think that's okay. okay. I just think we'll be hearing about that is all. Uh, yeah. <laughs> G'day, Flowers. Benjamin here. Oh, Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> Netanyahu. Benjamin <laughs> Folds 5. Benjamin Franklin here. Oh. From 200 years ago? Oh. Uh, tonight I'm having beef short rib. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Yeah. No, cheers, Benjamin Franklin. Yeah, short, yeah. short rib as opposed to your long rib. Obviously, what, I mean, yeah. I'm guessing so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. What about this one here? What kind of marinade is the rib? Uh, it says here smoky barbecue. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. That's what it says there. Do you want a thick, crusty bread for that? Yeah, old thick crust hoity. A little bit of lemon zest. Oh, g'day, Flowers. Dion here. Oh, my God. Warwick. <laughs> Dion Nash. Dion Nash. Oh. G'day, Flowers, former Black Cap Dion Nash here. Now I sell moisturiser. He does. Very good it is, too. Also, for dinner tonight, I'm having home kill sausages. Oh, did you catch some? Uh, he must have found some sausages. He's got some sausages out in the paddock there and, yeah, and he kills he them, them at home. It, home kill chips. Early winter, Have you ever tried to take down a sausage, man? <laughs> they know when you've got the rifle and the machete ready to go, I tell you what. Yeah, you don't get in the way of them, that's for You're sure. You're an elusive bastard, Keezy. You want to watch out. How many sausages have you taken down in one sitting? Oh, in one sitting? Oh, 18 or killing? Killing. Oh, poor. I probably lost about 42 in the Great Floods of 1987. Oh, really? Yeah, but that wasn't my fault. That was the rains. Yeah, were they free range? Free range, yeah, they were free range sausages. Uh, well, Dion is having home kill sausages, home kill chips and home kill eggs for dinner. So... Sounds yummy. Home kill eggs are becoming very popular. They are. Very popular. Yeah. Do you have to kill the eggs? I thought you just crack them and eat them. Yeah, well, that's that's what they call the kill, but oh. the fact that, yeah, yeah, you do it at home, so it's sort of a homegrown sort of a situation. Right, okay. I haven't heard of the home kill chips, but I guess that means that's potatoes, um, you kill them at home, and that makes them chips. Yeah, yeah, that's what he was that's that's what what saying. That's yeah, what he yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So. What, what else you got there, Keys? Uh, actually, there's a question. G'day, fellas. Who won the Bender reveal? That's actually happening soon. So if you entered the competition, keep your phone on, all right? Is that really a question, Keezy? The Hauraki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue, and Keezy. Tom Petty there on the radio. Hauraki Big Show this Tuesday afternoon, 24 minutes past four o'clock. Uh, no Mogi today, but he will be back forthwith. You know, Keezy, one of the things I love about doing radio is uh, our listeners out there, mm. the massive backbones that they are, and they fill us with information on the text machine on 3483. Learned a new word today. Never heard of it genuinely in my life. Frenulum, 
Right, and what is it? Frenulum. And what is it? Is where your foreskin meets the underside of your penis. So you know that little V? I don't want to – I know, but this is just anatomy. I'm not being, you know – over the top for the sake of it. Right. Uh, but I never knew that. There's a little V there. That is frenulum. Frenulum. Yeah, no, we got it. Right, now use it in a sentence. Jace's frenulum was itchy. <laughs> so good. Well, there you go, New Zealand. You've learnt a new word, courtesy of the listeners and Jace as well. Uh, we're discussing the big poll topic, which is having denim jeans or jackets with a distressed look yep. with cuts and rips and tears on your clothing from the factory, whether or not it's okay. Here's a great text on 3483, which I think, Jace represents your feelings on the matter. Yeah. Okay. If no, if you want to wear ripped gears, if and earn them. I had a leather jacket. My ex cut it up. It looked real cool, restitched. North Island is soft and weak. Can I just say one thing, Keezy? What? Backbone. Yeah, that's so you know, backbone. you know, those those are my kind of people. You know, and I'm not a big fan of the distress look, particularly around the ass cheeks either. Jace. You know, I think that was unnecessary. <laughs> I don't I don't need to see your ass cheeks when you come to work every day. What do you mean you don't like the distress look? You look distressed twenty four seven. Yeah, very good. Hey, but also, hang on, just quickly. Yes, yeah, no, do. How, how am I supposed to earn rips and tears, right? Do you want me to get on a motorbike, get up to 180 kilometres, and then fall off it so I can get a rip in my arm? Is that what I'm supposed to do? On gravel. Right, on gravel, yeah. yeah. Or I could just buy one. That's I want I- you to go to a bar, have a few beersies responsibly, and get a bit lippy with a massive... Dude, right, and then and then have a and have <laughs> lippy with a massive dude, yeah, yeah, and then go outside and have a bit of a set too, like a bar fly, and he dedouches keys and so, he falls over on his jacket and his knees get ripped and stuff. You know, it's about you know, it's. I'm proud of the fact you say I look distressed all the time, Keezy. Yeah. I'm proud of the fact that I'm a forty odd year old dude. Forty odd, <laughs> you know, in my mid forties. I'm proud of my nicks. I'm proud of my scars. I'm proud of sort of the fact that I'm quite heinous looking these days. I'm like an old tiger or an old lion that's been out in the Serengeti, and I've earned those scars. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And even any rip you see on my clothing. Is earned, Keezy. So it's earned. Do you think it's me trying to look like I've been through stuff? Y- yeah, that you're a tough guy. But, <laughs> but then, I'm not actually. Yeah, but then people look at your sort of rosy cheeks and your manicured mo, and they go, nah, not buying it. Yeah, right, okay. Um, outcome of the big poll? Uh, that'll be happening on the Hodaki Big Show's Instagram story. No, but what's your prediction? Later tonight. Oh, that's right. Usually I don't do this. Uh, I predict that because of our listeners, it'll be like, oh, no, I don't think you should wear that. 60% though, 60, 40 in favour of no. Yeah, I'm saying 70, 30. In favour of no? In favour of no. All right, well, you can vote on the Hodaki Big Show's Instagram poll, uh, That'll be, and we'll be recapping that after six. Now, up next, a chance to win some cash, Jace. Yeah, mate. Trade it, wars. Get it is trade it. wars, so get ready to call 0800 Hodaki, and you can win 500. The Hodaki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue, and Kesey. Back there on the radio, Hodaki Big Show this uh, Wednesday evening, but right now we've got some... This is breaking news. Do you want me to... Trim that so it just says breaking news. No, because it's like right now we've got some. This is breaking news. You're being picky, Keys. No, I'm just just. And I think that this gives it a bit of gravitas. It's just the way that you throw to it doesn't make sense grammatically. Oh, that doesn't matter. The, the punters don't mind that. Okay. So you can we do it again, please? Okay. Do you want to throw to it again? Yeah, let's throw to this. This is breaking news. Let's throw to this, this is breaking news. Yeah, he's reiterating what I'm saying. Right, okay. You know what I mean? Let's throw to this because... Do you want to try that? Try, just try that. Try what? Let's go to this... Let's go to this because... Okay. Let's go to this because this... This is breaking news. Too many this is okay, but let's let's just move on. It's fine. We'll figure it out later. Well, I've sort of forgotten what the breaking news is now because you've distracted me with your pedantic little wail- wailing. Uh, the breaking news is. Oh, that- hang on. Can you play it again? Oh, for God. okay. Ready? You gonna throw to it, or do I just play it? Yeah. Uh, let's throw to this. This is breaking news. David Nika. the boxer, the boxer, unbeaten. Is he the really hot one? He's the really hot one who's never been beaten. In what weight is he? He's cruiserweight. And he's never been beaten, but how many fights has he had? 
oh, I don't know. I haven't got the statistics. He's had a few. He's bloody good because he went to the Olympics as yeah, well. Yeah, he went to the Olympics. I remember that. Didn't he get douched? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. Um, so, but we don't know how many fights he's won. Can you Google that, please, Keezy? All right, I'll get that right now. Well, hang on. You throw to the breaking news again. Uh, okay, well, let's throw to this. This is breaking news. How many fights has he won? Who? David Nika. Oh, David Nika? Nika. How do you say his name? Nika. Nika. N-Y-I-K-A. Uh, so he has had nine bouts. Professional. He has an 88.89% KO rate. So 90% of the time he's going to knock your ass out. And, and he's hot. And he's hot. He's known as the nice guy. Oh, he's hot. He's a fighter. I remember he's got green eyes. He's maybe. got beautiful green eyes. And, uh, and he is cut like a... He is cut. Um, so go get out. So he lost his first... Uh, oh, no, sorry. He's unbeaten in terms of like professional fights. Right, okay. And he's, he's had eight. He's had eight. And so this is going to be his ninth. No, he's had nine. This is, this is going to be his tenth. Right. I don't know. Can you... Jace, can you... If you're going to do Jay, breaking no, Jace, news, if Casey, you're going to... If you're going to do breaking news, can you get your facts right, please? But hang on. What I you... don't even want to do breaking news. <laughs> what you've done here is we've gone into breaking news and you've asked me a whole lot of ultra-specific statistical questions. Which you should know. Why? Because that's a breaking news story. All right, well, here's some breaking news for you. This is breaking news. I don't know shit. The Hodaki Big Show. Weekdays from four on Radio Hodaki. Primal Scream there on the Radio Hodaki Big Show this Thursday evening. Uh, now, while um, old Keezy was sunning himself over in Bali there, getting swimmer's ear and whatever else he was getting over there, he stumbled upon, uh, quite by accident, yeah. uh, an old Hoity J show. Well, that, it's one of those things where you're overseas, not 10 hour flight away in Indonesia, you know. Yeah. Is that how long it is? 10 hours? Yeah, well, it's about nine and a half. Okay. Nine and a quarter back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so you're over there and, and you, you've had a few bintangs. You, you're in bed. They've got a, a TV in the hotel room. You're flicking through the channels to watch the, the local stuff and a local police show comes on. And it turns out the guy, very similar sounding to Jace, has voiced it. Because you voice what's the one here? Dog Squad. Dog Squad, yeah. Which, if you haven't seen it, it's on TVNZ+. Plus. It's just, you know, the dog saving the day, basically. Great show. It is a great show. Um, and I heard this clip, and it turns out it is actually Jace. Day and night, in our Indonesian communities, at airports and behind prison wire, a squad of dedicated monkey handlers are on the job with their trusty primate companions. Swinging in and stopping danger at every turn, this hardy trained squad of cash busting, border protecting and banana gobbling 24-7. It's always a salamat day at work for the Monkey Squad. <coughs> this time, police duo Leo and Bubbles swing into action to stop a gang of scooter thieves. <laughs> What is it, Bubbles? Have you caught the scent? <laughs> Corrections monkey Rafiki helps sniff out prison contraband. All right, now pass it to me with your feet, Rafiki. <laughs> Good boy. And drug monkey King Dong makes a pill-stopping discovery at the border. This is a great find. <laughs> King Dong will be getting all the bananas he can handle after this one. <laughs> it's always a salamat day at work for the monkey squad. So I recorded that in my hotel room. That is actually you, Jace. Yeah, man, it is me. 18 seasons. Uh, you think Dog Squad is good. You should check out Monkey Squad. What? This is the part I don't understand is they have so many dogs in Bali, but they use monkeys there to bust people. Yeah, but they're wild dogs, Keezy. Right. You know what I mean? Okay. That's why we were worried about you getting rabies. Well, that, that is 100% true. Yeah. Um. What? It just seems... Cr- so they- you've got to think about monkeys too, of course. Uh, highly intelligent creatures. Well, pretty much, yeah. You're pretty much our brothers. Yeah, and, and how do you how do you um like how do you train them? Do you have to like give them a banana for a good job, that sort of thing? Oh, I don't train them, Keezy. No. I just narrate the show. Is that what when you stumbled upon M- Monkey Squad? No, it isn't. <laughs> Up next, what's on TV with Mike Minogue, but without him. The Hauraki Big Show with Jace, Mike and Keezy. Tune in weekdays at four on Radio Hauraki.